Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman again with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for tuning in today to join me for another episode of whatever it is I'm about to say. This video is about the phrase, I need space. It's one of the most Googled search engine uh, friendly phrases in all of the men's work world. I need space. Kind of sounds like I'm not attracted to you. I don't feel connected to you. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Any of those variations of the phrase of I need space usually mean a variety of things. Sometimes people think that um, she's saying, I just need to find me so I can be able to love you better. So give me time and have patience with me. That's a very kind, a very a high regard you have for her if you believe that that's true. It could be true. It could be that she wants to love you and she needs to find space to love herself to love you better. And then some guys are cynical enough to think that anytime a woman says, I feel smothered and I need space, that she's already screwing another guy. That you're already out of her life, you don't stand any chance whatsoever of ever reconnecting and she's gone. She's already in somebody else's arms. That's not usually true either. Is it sometimes true? Yeah, it's sometimes true. But what I want to do in this video is give you a different way to think about it. Most of the time, it's much more complicated than I just need to love myself so, and I, can, so I can love you. And it's more complicated than I want to screw other people. It's not that easy. It's much more complicated. I want to give you, I want to give you a, a secret peek into the view of a lot of women's minds when they say I need space. And this is based on a lot of time I've spent talking to women about what happens, what's going on in their head when they feel pressured and they feel weird about their marriage and they start pulling away saying they need space. And so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read it to you. I wrote this out because this is a conglomeration of everything I've heard in the past few years from women. And it sounds like this. I feel like I'm about to explode because I feel so much anxiety in my body and my thoughts are all over the place and I can't focus and I feel like I'll never figure out who I am because I'm, I've never felt good enough and everyone seems so disappointed in me and I just can't relax because I feel like everyone needs me to take care of them and, and all of my sweaters are snagged and, and I feel like I can't exhale because the weight of being a mother and a wife and a caretaker to everyone and an employee. This all sits on my chest 24 seven and I'm not sleeping because, because my body aches and that pisses me off and you don't seem to understand any of this. And if you do, well, it seems like you really don't have any compassion because you're so concerned about how my feelings are making you feel. And all I feel from you is disappointment and a 24 seven pressure to fix me so you can finally feel better. But I just want you to back away and love me how I am right now and be a partner who quietly gets me and accepts me and helps me me and and I just don't know anymore and, and you don't care anyway you can rewind this YouTube video and play that at two times two times the speed to get a feel for what it sounds like in a woman's head sometimes when she says I need space I feel smothered I don't feel attracted I don't feel connected because a lot of times when a woman says those phrases what she's trying to say is what I just said but she can't. She can't tell you. She can't tell anybody. And it's echoing in her brain on a daily basis about how much she feels pressure. And the only thing she knows to do is to pull away from what she thinks is the source of the pressure. And so many times a man who is not empathetic, a man who is insecure, a man who has a burning need to get to the bottom of her, her disappointment and her sadness, he is adding so much pressure to her, she can't even stand it. So what does she do? She pulls away even further. So what this video is meant to do is to give you a peek, a sneak peek behind the curtain of a woman's mind when she says, I need space. This is meant to give you an idea that empathy and compassion can go a long way if you're a secure enough man, mature enough in your own skin, and you feel good enough about yourself to back off and give her what she asked for. Give her space, show up, be engaged, be available, be responsive on your terms, but stop trying to fix her. Stop trying to make her make your uncertainty feel better. Now you need other men to do this. I know you can't do it alone. I know it's virtually impossible for you to watch this video and take my advice because it feels like you're going to die. And if you do not have other men in your life who know exactly what the twisted gut feels like when you feel like you're losing all hope and all control of your marriage, 
You have to be with other men who know exactly what it's like. I want you to join this community so you can be with these men. I want you to look at the Men's Life Coaching Roundtable. I want you to look at calling for a consultation call to spend an hour or more talking with the man who gets you. There are all kinds of ways to get involved with our, with our community. And so with this video, I hope you're starting to get the idea. There is a place you can go for support, camaraderie, and compassion so you can stay in your freaking lane. I hope that helps you today, brother. Take care. Bye-bye.